Saving Garmin tracks to Google is actually a very simple process, but first let me explain a little bit about tracks. Tracks are a record that your GPS keeps of your motions throughout the day, basically the distance that the Garmin travels. They're sort of like breadcrumbs of, of your trip, whether you're in walking or automobile mode, and you can take those tracks and import them into Google or into Basecamp and create uh, routes from those breadcrumb points. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to set that into Google right now. First you want to start off by opening Garmin's Basecamp, which you can download from the Garmin.com website, and then connect your Garmin GPS to your computer via USB cable. And as you can see over here, My Garmin Devices, it shows that our Newbie 2595 is currently connected. You're going to go ahead and highlight that or select that. And if we come down here on the bottom left hand corner, it shows our activity logs for certain days, which are basically our tracks. Like I've previously explained, they're breadcrumbs that keep track of your movement throughout the day. Let's go ahead and go to August 25th, just for an example here. Uh, we can right click on this and uh, show create route from tracks. So we can actually create a route first and then import it into Google. Or according to this, we can view it in Google Earth from here. Uh, another great option, I just want to show you a different method here, is simply by clicking onto the track, hi like highlighting the track, and then coming up here under, I believe, view, and then coming down to view current map area in Google Earth or view selected data in Google Earth. So you got a couple different options here in order to do that. I actually want to go ahead and just do the right click one and see what happens here. View in Google Earth. So it's going to go ahead and op open Google Earth on our computer. And then what it's going to do is it's going to take our track information and create an overlay on Google Earth. So here we go. We're going into our area here in Louisville, Texas. And we should be able to see a view of our tracks. There we go. There's the, yep, see, so you can see that it sort of, sort of blends in with it, but you saw it as we were coming up. There's a gray, oops, kind of zooming in too far, but there's, see, there's a gray overlay that shows our tracks for that day, and then we can go ahead and save this on Google Earth. But this gives you a little bit more options now to play with. Once you've imported your tracks, you can show where you've been that day, uh, and if you want to repeat those steps, you can sort of use Google Earth to, you know, you can use Google Earth like up here. You can control it, spin around, you can go into 3D mode, you can sort of look around in that area and view where you were. And then, of course, save all this to your Google Earth and even put it back to your base camera and then save that back onto your Garmin GPS as well. So it's very versatile when it comes to taking your tracks and putting them on Google Earth. So that's how you do that.